Ooh, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to another video from me, The Scavenger. And today we're going to do something different, I'm going to upload all three of these, actually, as of now. These are the battles that the Scandinavian Southlands had before I owned the team, which means a few changes. The team was actually named before Pori Arcanines, and was actually the owner of Grail 13. So as you can see, I am on the opposite side, I'm going up against the... Portland Timbers, I remember correctly, and the Tyler, of course, the admin of Stilithio. Now, as you guys may or may not know, my free first battle was the battles I did not play, which are three losses, and the, the guy, Grail actually decided to drop his team after those three losses because he really didn't feel it. He felt that he couldn't really work with the team and uh, wasn't just not feeling uninspired to battle. So, a few changes has come. Um, now, all of these Pokemon, besides the sister, actually. It's, <laughs> Still in the team. I dropped Confagragos, I dropped the Mega Scissor, I dropped Hexers, Typhlosion, and you no know, changes it to my liking. I even dropped Espeon, so I dropped a lot of Pokemon to well sell it for my needs. So anyway, um, we're just gonna watch this battle and look by the team preview. Um, we're gonna just gonna get a feel for what. Um, the previous owner of this team actually had for and it feels like he's really just going super offensive. All of these folks are feeling really, really aggressive, chance is basically to wall something, and um, feels like Tyler has the same kind of premise, really aggressive. Um, I would predict the landers for him to start off with, and I probably myself would have started off with Thunders, uh, having hidden power. Um, having hit a power eyes, hoping to um, be scarfed and set the one on fire. Um, but that's my only main idea. Swallow Peak could probably help Scissor a lot uh, with speed boost and Sword Stance and then pretty much set that thing off. But Brelum is a big issue for this team. And uh, wow, I can even start with Mewtwo. You know what? Let's actually just get to it. Like I said, I will upload all of these um, in separate videos and we're just gonna get a feel for it. This is a 26 turn battle, so very interesting. Let's see, so Grail is setting us up with Keldeo, um, probably packing Ice Wind in, and an Aggron start. An Aggron, who saw that one coming? Uh, of course it's not an Aggron, damn. He of course is... <laughs> oh, he's getting fooled by that. Um, damn, it's a Sorok. Alright, so it's gonna go to Mew safely. Oh, and we went from Hydro Pump. Ooh, I missed. That's bad, let's see, what is the damage output here? Alright, so that miss actually matters quite a lot, considering given circumstance here. You went to Dream Punch. Interesting. Interesting set. Um, that Hydro Pump miss really sucks. I get the feel that this is the Specs. Uh, it's very likely that the Mew could have Giga Drain, maybe? Uh, being on a Soul Fest, Giga Drain, uh, Drain Punch set. Could work. It is an interesting set, to say the least, if that's the case. Um, if I were Grail here, I would probably switch out. I would not really truth my Keldeo or whittle it down so efficiently because it isn't faster than, than that Sorok, so that's an issue. So Nox is gonna come in, gonna get a free Mega Evolution, and now we switch out, right? And what would I go to? Bushido, and Bushido is... alright. Hmm, interesting. Well, it's better than Chansey, I guess. There's a side shot. Right, so my opponent, or the opponent probably predicted that, or Tyler. Um, not very effective, of course. And okay, it's not the Mega Alakazam, it's just the Alakazam. Uh, so that's probably Sashed. So he's not risking that. And I'm guessing we're gonna get a uh, Bullet Punch here because of the Stress Place. Um, I really hope not. It's a given opportunity to go for a Sword Stance from this position. And I really hope he went for that. Nah, that's too bad. That's too bad. It's not really mattering, but that is one bulky uh, Landorus. Now, still, I don't see Landorus winning this matchup if he doesn't have the move like a hit a power fire or anything like that. Earthquake should hurt, but not really that much. Uh, right, Stealth Rocks. Yeah, I will definitely go on, or I'll probably have packed the Sword Stats to just build myself up, because there is not a whole lot Landorus can do from a position like that. Um, Wonder what we'll do here. Ooh, Sword Stats. Ugh. You know I could pack Stone Edge. That's dangerous. That is dangerous. Alright, so it goes for EQ. Damn it, does that too. Ah. Uh, that's, that's enough. That's enough. Alright. 
Um, hopefully here we have at least a protect black slug to try to get you know get back to the horse. No, no, but that's awesome. Off a tail and it fails. No, that was awesome though. Awesome. Too bad. I I would not like using. Ooh, this is the wrong kind of team to use. He should definitely had bad and pass. I like the set though, I really think it was nice, it's just not the right environment for doing so. And definitely not the right opponent, like going up against a Trachio like that is, uh, that's dangerous. Or not Trachio, Landers. So anyway, it takes opportunities to have stealth props, right? Um, I guess that is fair. Um, both teams are really not that weak to uh, rock, so I guess just for ship damage, of course, kind of fine. But at the same time, we take unnecessary damage here with EQ. Oh, he's so sad. He's so sad. Well, there's the roar. Um, nice. We're gonna get. Oh, no! Ho oh, ho! This is not. This is not what he was hoping for. Um, let's see. Is that leftovers? Interesting. So is that a book is it maybe? Definitely spore is definitely common. Um there's no way of really working around that, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Actually bullets ooh, okay. And the sister gonna soak that. I really hope um Grail here has uh, I really hope that Grail has some um, roost here to kind of find a new footing. Um it's not enough it's really not a lot the brother can do there if it doesn't pack the spore. So we're gonna go back into the Landorus. Really hope now there's something besides the general set could work. Um, like I said, key opportunity would have been Sword Stance. Oh, why did you not do that before? Oh no, you're kidding, right? I mean, Sword Stance, Roost, you're good to go. You can almost sweep from this position. But of course, the Agron is still around. I guess Agron is a big deal. But still. Still! Ooh, lord. So anyway, Agron's gonna come. I guess an Agron is his mega Pokemon? I could be wrong about this, though. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright, so... Should probably know this, that before I actually talk about that. So, Scissor cannot sweep, of course, unless this. Oh, it packs a super power, though. But, of course, with the filter, is not really gonna do a whole lot. Retaliation is gonna be bad. Gonna be bad. Oh, hey, that's it. That's it. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, Tyler, good one. Nice. So anyway, Kelio is back on. Um, I wonder. Kelio is not feeling nice here. Skull, Skull, Hydro Pump. Okay. So right, that is Agron out of the way. I guess Agron kind of serves its purpose. Um, we're definitely gonna see a Sora coming in here. No doubt about that. Um, or I guess knocks it out speed? Yeah, it actually does. And of course, Chansey is not really feeling it. I really don't like the idea of you go having a Chansey when you know your opponent has not like a Sam. That's that's really dangerous. Alright, then Chansey is gonna come. Now, I wanna see how much a side shock does from this. Ooh, substitute! Hey! And of course, there's a Sesame Toss. So obviously here it feels like it's at least not Sash since we packed the uh, substitute. Now, oh, not wh what? Sweet mother! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. I did not see that one coming. All right, uh, <laughs> let's see what Sash does this time. Um, oh, that's that's bad. That's bad. Oh, not coming like a Sam. <laughs> Freaking clever, freaking clever, I love that. That's that's incredible. So anyway, Prism's gonna get a free switch in. I'll I would have sack chance from this position. Um ooh, oh he is really feeling it. He's really feeling it. Um I do believe Grail is still a few things he could could do for this position, so it should be fine. Now um Oh damn, probably should have gone for a soft boy. Who knew that could happen? Alright, Smack Punch definitely gonna kill, of course. Um, I really think Grail has a few things going for him. Um, I can't just recall which Pokemon he got left. Of course, we got Sister gone, Chess is gone. 
Um, Keldio is gone. Let's see. Enuro, right? This beast. Please be scarfed. Please be scarfed. Not gonna matter, of course. That's gonna hurt. Um, a psychic, alright. Um, was expecting like Skydrop or anything like that. That would have been extremely funny. Um, but that works. That works. Funders is not locked, right, isn't he? Luki. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. This. I think this is it. Like, he can go for Sucker Punch here. Right, he's gonna switch out. He's gonna take heavy damage from those stealth rocks, though. I wonder if that was the right decision to make there. Um, because this is gonna. Oh, Dark Pulse is gonna kill him, though. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Uh, oh, actually, lives that. That makes that switch out. Oh, no! Oh, no! He should never have switched out. I do believe that his Sorok is his last foe, right? I do believe so. I do believe so. Damn, he should have never switched out. Oh, no! <laughs> is that how it fails? Yeah, this is how it falls. That's... That's extremely unfortunate. Earthquake would have killed. Earthquake would have killed from that position. And he lived Dark Pulse. I would never switch out Thunders from that position. Wow! It's a 1-0 in um, Tyler's favor. I mean, good game to both of you guys, really. Um, I think Chansey... The, to be honest, I do believe that Chansey is a very, very... Dangerous Pokemon to have against an opponent with an Sam due to Psyshock. But other than that, there are not a lot of things I could have kind of... You know what? I actually have one thing that really stands out. The Mega Scissor usage here. Um, it could win 1-1 -on -one against a lot of these guys. Landorus could win against Breloom, could win against Zagron. Um, having Sword Stance Roost would have been a much better option. Um, than uh, just having super power and stuff like that. Now I do get it. Uh, I really do. But it's it's really dangerous. And Kaleo, of course, did not do a whole lot of this battle. And the higher pump miss in the beginning actually matters. Um, because it, Kaleo took unnecessary damage. And that probably wasn't the idea from Grail, really. So, right, that's the first game that um, that Pori Arcanine plays. I will say it's a good game. I really like the game. I think it was really close. And um, I actually think that Grail was actually a... a he should never have played like that at the end. Oh, he should just have sacked the Thunderous. Because Sorok naturally has uh, Sucker Punch in worst case scenario. Uh, now, it looks like it was Scarfed since it actually outspeed the Thunderous. Um, I do believe that Thunderous could have been Scarfed too. And, um, I mean, like I said, Earthquake would have killed him. Uh, so that makes that play so much worse. He should have just stayed in. That's, it's one of those plays you probably used to do on a whim. And just afterwards feeling that that was a bad call. <laughs> but anyway, Grail and Tyler, good games for both you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next game.